hello everyone in this video i'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can convert your old legacy wire printer to wireless using a raspberry pi so let's get started switching to windows i'm going to use balena for achieving this wireless printing service what balena is it's a fleet management you can say like a system or a platform where they support wide variety of hardwares including raspberry pi intel nenc uh, it could be even the thinkerboard and many more uh, they have a set of uh, even ready examples which you can uh, you know try it out uh, i mean they have an extensive uh, you know project list which you can then modify accordingly like for example Belina so sound uh, or even Belina sense for reading from sensor uh, and even for 3d printing many more so with that cleared out let's jump to the account i already have an organization created so what you have to do now is go to this web link this is one of the project that's specifically for uh, you know the cups project or unix spring service so here you see a deployable balena balena and uh, now it should open a pop-up uh, i have an organization so uh, it's going to create a fleet here you have to ensure you select your your uh, device so in my case it's raspberry pi zero v2 and i'm going to go with starter uh, i'm going to go ahead and create and deploy it's going to create a fleet under the organization and uh, next would be to add the device so i'm going to add um, here i'm going to go with with the network i'm going to go with the production um, wi-fi and ethernet because like raspberry pi zero doesn't have ethernet port i'm going to connect to my router ensure that you enter the password correctly here you have two options to flash it using Belina Etcher tool or you can go ahead and download the ISO. I usually prefer downloading your ISO because the one with the flash it does in real time that I download from the cloud, uh, there are chances it might fail. So I'm going to go ahead and download the ISO. You do have an option to flash the configuration file. For example, you already had an ISO downloaded and flashed onto an SD card. You can download the config file and then paste it onto the SD card. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and download the ISO file. It's going to start downloading. It, it might take a while. So we'll resume back once the download is completed. Okay, so the download is completed. So I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi Imager and flash it onto my SD card. choose the OS, select custom, and here in downloads you can find the binary, choose the SD card, yes, and yes, continue. And also, uh, I, I would not recommend more than 8 gigs, even 4 gigs will do, 4 gigs of SD card will do for this, because it's pretty much running just the uh, printing service on the Raspberry Pi, and also if you have a old raspberry pi i would recommend that because that's something which is pretty worthless right now we cannot do much with it like if you have raspberry pi one or two you can use that for this purpose so we'll wait for the flashing to complete okay so it has finished writing i'm not going to go ahead and verify it uh, it should work fine let's wait for it to finalize yep so i'm going to now uh, add this sd card to my raspberry pi and boot it up it does take a while for the device to boot up since it has to boot up connect to Belina cloud download some services so if you see here in the fleet and it, it shows zero devices because device has still not fully initialized and connected to 
Bolina cloud. Well, it might at times I've seen it takes up to five minutes for it to fully connect to the server and download all the services and be up and running. So we'll give it some time before it shows. I mean, it should show the devices here as one if you have one devices only. So we'll wait for that to happen. Okay, you can finally see the device is now showing up under the device list. So um, it shows it as online, but keep in mind that it has to still install certain services needed for our printing. So how would I know is that right now it's just showing host OS, but in fact, once all the services are installed, for example, in our case, it's CUPS, that's Unix printing service, you would have an, another option here as CUPS. So it's not showing up yet. So we we'll wait for the services to be installed. Um, I'll try enable public device URL, so that works. Um, let me go back uh, to devices. And here you can see I'm getting full details about the device. It's showing it's online and uh, the UI unique ID for the device, the operating system version, uh, OS variant. Um, I, you can see here um, it's still not popping up the IP. Okay, let's see if it has finally installed all the services. Because, no, it's still not done that and also as far as i remember once all the services are installed it's going to go ahead and reboot you can see it's still downloading certain images from the cloud onto the devices so uh, these are nothing but you know the service so we'll yep you can see here uh, it has started preparing for update so it would do an os update in case os is out of date and also you can finally see the service is being downloaded. Once the download is completed, you would see it's already running. And as I mentioned earlier, you would see the cups. And you can see here, the cups option is now popping up. We'll wait for it to fully download and we'll resume back once the download is completed. Okay, it looks like all the services are up and running. Uh, let me just try to open the public IP of the device and check if it works. Yep, it's, I'm able to access the, uh, you know, the cup server is running on the Raspberry Pi. So this is the advantage of a Balena. So I can access this Raspberry Pi from pretty much anywhere in the world because it has a public IP. So uh, let me go to the administration and uh, I'm going to plug my uh, printer and check if I, it works. I have plugged in the printer. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the printer. Let's see if it's able to detect. Yes, it's able to detect my printer. Um, it shows up as two of them. Let me just try with this and check if it works. I mean, also keep in mind, if you're trying to print from Windows, you still need the respective printer's driver, Windows driver uh, installed. So uh, let me, also you have to ensure that you have the share this printer on. So click on continue. And let's see if it works. Uh, it's trying to add. And also I need to select the respective CUPS services for this printer. Uh, also keep in mind, it's slow because I'm accessing it through the Belina server, not directly from my local network um let me check if i can find my printer it's uh, hp laserjet m1005 uh, um let me check if i can find that laserjet 1005 it's a pretty old printer but that was the whole point of this uh, you know series so hp proprietary add the printer let's see if it works um okay so media size a4 uh, auto select set default option and i guess the printer has been configured so this is the link for my printer <clears throat> so i'm going to do add or remove uh, 
printer let me just say printer uh, printer and uh, add a remote printer or scanner so let me just copy this link and click on add so okay let's see if it should pop up yeah add manually and uh printer slido and printer network with manual settings so okay print shared by name let me check if this works uh let's try and connect uh since it's anyway accessible globally i believe it should work okay so i select hp but i do have this and i have already downloaded the drivers and this is the driver i'm looking for click on okay and let's see if it installs okay yep uh it has uh installed i'm going to print a test page okay i'm going to go ahead and you print a test page let's see if it works um so technically it should print and voila it works and finally successfully printed the page which i yep so that's that's about it that's how simple you can easily add wireless capability to your legacy printer please do like share and subscribe if you like the video i make and enjoy thank you for watching